So good morning students today we are going to see about uh, what is state government it is unit 1 and this is the fort st george uh, building uh, this is uh, built by uh, british people this is the first building uh, or the first fort built by the english people and now the current tamil nadu legislative assembly and secretary of trade of tamil nadu working in the same building okay what is legislative assembly uh, it has the lower house where all mls meet to discuss uh, various matters related to the welfare of the particular state india has separate uh, system of administration for union states and union territories india has nearly 29 states and seven union territories which includes our uh, capital of india that is delhi new delhi and what is federal system a power is divided between two set of governments one at the central in delhi and a separate uh, government for all the individual states and what is central government uh, india is a parliamentary democratic republic where the president of india is the head of the uh, indian union it is a union uh, so it is a combination or campaign of so many states so it is a head of indian union only and the prime minister and all the ministers are responsible for the smooth running of the government so this is our parliament indian parliament and state government all states and union territories have separate government to run its own administration governor chief minister and all the ministers constitutes the government the member of parliament is called mp whereas the member of legislative assembly is called mla both central and state government work according to our constitution and the election there are uh, elected by the people uh, through general election for the election the entire state is divided into several constitution on the basis of population the political parties nominated their candidates to each constitution and this is our uh, indian um, election machine the electoral machine all people residing in that particular constitution who have completed 18 years of age are eligible to vote their Uh, voting system that is cast their vote that candidate who get the more number of votes is declared as the elected and become the mla so the election commission of india conducts and monitor the election after the election the party which gets more mla is declared as the majority party and the government of particular uh, state calls the leader of the majority party and the mla who have more than one half number of constitution in the state are called ruling party and form the government and the party which gets total number of seats next to the majority party and all other mlas of other political parties do not belong to that particular ruling parties are commonly called as opposition party so this is a partition the governor and chief minister council of ministers the governor is appointed by the president of india for a term of 5 years for a particular state and the leader of majority party is appointed as the chief minister by the governor the chief minister in the consultation with the governor constitution uh, cabinet which includes member of his party as a ministers the term of the office is 5 years eligibility to become governor or chief minister first one to become a Uh, governor you should be a citizen of india and should have completed 30 years of age and should have a sound knowledge and should not hold any public office of profit okay and to become a chief minister you have to complete 25 years of age and should be an mla or in case of a mlc should have completed 30 years of age usually the state legislature have two houses upper house and lower house this is called bio camel uh, cameral legislature and upper house is called legislative council the members are called mlc and they are not elected directly by the people the lower house is called legislative assembly the member are called mls as i said earlier they are directly elected by the people In India, some states have two houses in their state legislature, but in Tamil Nadu, we have lower house only. This is called unicameral legislature. 
governor the governor is an internal part of the state legislature the governor is the head of the state executive he has the enormous power all administration is carried out in his name he is the chancellor of government universities in the state all bills became law only after his assent he appointed important officials of the state government such as advocate general chairman members of state public service commission state election commission vice chancellor of state universities etc these are some of the governors of tamil nadu and chief minister the chief minister is the real executive head of the state administration he allocates the portfolios among the ministers the council of ministers are collectively responsible to the state legislation all ministers work as a team under the chief minister the chief minister formulates programs and policies for the welfare of the people of the state the council of ministers is collectively responsible to legislative assembly of the state so these are the chief ministers of tamil nadu until our edapadi ramasamy the three main organs of government are legislative executive and judiciary the legislative branches makes laws the executive branch enforces the law and the judiciary interprets the law so this is the tamil nadu high court the high court are highest judicial organ at the state level it is an independent body as per the constitution there shall be a high court in each state the state high court consists of chief justice and other judges the number of judges in high court is not uniform and fixed president appoints the chief justice and can hold office until he completes the age of 62 apart from high court there are district courts and tribunals they ensure justice to each people without any bias uh, this is a district court vilapuram district court apart from this family courts are established to settle the disputes related to marriages and family affairs lok adalat people court has also been established by the government of india to settle dispute through consolation and compromise so for uh, students uh, please like my video and subscribe my channel best of luck for your future thank you thank you all